What is the common denominator of failure? Why are you failing? You never say because of me. Oh, it's the competition. It's the economy. It's the president. It's Congress. If you wake up tomorrow morning and blame your failure on someone or something else, you have no reason to change, do you? But if you woke up in the morning and looked in the mirror and said, I am failing because of me, the decisions that I make, the energy I put in, I'm not passing the blame. If you look in the mirror tomorrow and say that, you will change. Because nobody likes thinking of themselves as a failure. Winners win and losers lose. And if you create a culture of losing, if you keep being a victim, if you keep letting losing happen to you, if you keep letting people do you and treat you any kind of way, it's going to become a culture. Take ownership. Take ownership of everything in your world, the good and the bad. Don't make excuses. Don't blame any other person or any other thing. Take ownership of your mistakes. Take ownership of your shortfalls. Take ownership of your problems. And then take ownership of the solutions that will get those problems solved. Take ownership of your job of your team, of your future, and take ownership of your life. The people in life that win play offense, not defense. Stop backing into everything. Stand up. Bow your back a little bit. Start to walk a little different. Start to be that best version of you. You can do it in your quiet way. You can do it the way you do it. But somehow they got to look at you and go, okay, I won't monkey with that one. You push back. You need to get obsessed. You got to get relentless. You got to be a road dog. You got to get intense. You got to have a permeating attitude that you're going to win. You got to have a positive outlook. You got to be optimistic. You got to know you're going to win. You got to, right now, you got to say, I'm going to win. I'm going to win. My life is going to win. There's going to be a victorious life here. Because listen to me, the price you pay for losing here is too extreme. You have to carry the burden of failure the rest of your life. As we begin to elevate ourselves and not to follow the crowd, Activating the thinker in us and disciplining and putting on hold the emotional part of ourselves. It's not easy, but through practice and practice and practice, practice makes improvement. You can always better your best. You can always go beyond anything that you have ever done. You never hit a state of perfection. You're always bigger than what you do. And so all you're looking for are new breakthroughs through practice and practice and practice. You'll get better and better and better. Something you should affirm to yourself every day. Repeat this, please. No matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. The people that make it in this world look around for the circumstances that they want and if they can't find them, they create them. It's hard. No easy is not an option. However, ladies and gentlemen, what you will discover is that it's worth it. Takes guts. You've got to dig down deep to cut it out. Keep on going again and again and again. Until you make it happen, because you know that it's possible, and you are the determining factor. Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and said, I'm not getting up on time. I'm not going to work on time. I'm not putting in 120% when I'm at work. I let me down. And when you get to the point where you can say you let you down, I don't care, listen to me, no disrespect. I don't care about Glenn. That's not why I do what I do. And I love Glenn. I don't come here and do what I do.